the story of the hero is within each one of us. We are all cut from the mold of heroism. We are called to be heroes in many ways. We're called to do the ordinary things extraordinarily well. St. John Bosco's approach to young people and their education is at the heart of our school. And the heart of it is an environment that is four things. First, it's a home that welcomes young people, where they feel at home and part of a family. Second, it's a school that prepares them for life. They learn and they are equipped to go out and live. Thirdly, it's a parish or a church that evangelizes, a place where they meet Jesus. And fourthly, it's a playground where they make friends and enjoy themselves. Those four pillars are the environment that we try to form here at Don Bosco Prep. The brotherhood, the friendship that's here, and the academics are so great. I found another home in Don Bosco. In many ways, I think all of us as faculty members see our jobs as just beyond the passing on of knowledge to being a part of the boys growing up experience. I chose to come to Don Bosco because it was a perfect blend of academics, athletics, and a community which emphasizes brotherhood. It felt like home. It was just right and when I came here everything kind of clicked together. When I walked on campus I really had this great feel for the school and I knew that it was the place for me. I've made friends here that I know and be friends with the rest of my life. I just love the brotherhood here and I love how it's really a community and a family. We have tried to stay at the heart of the matter, which is simply helping students recognize what their talents are and to push them to exercise those talents in a positive way and perhaps even toward a career in that area. Well, I think the goals and the objectives of the academic program go back to what St. John Bosco said, which is to prepare young men for life. So really everything we do is preparing young people not just for the rigors of academia, but to understand that what they're learning in the classroom is towards a greater end of improving themselves, improving their community, improving their families, and improving the world around them. You really get that bond here between the student and teachers. They know what you can actually do, and they try to help you achieve that. They don't treat you like children. They treat you how you should be treated, and they treat you like you're going to be treated in the real world. The teachers here, you know, they're second to none. They put the students in front of them. They always say it's not like a job, it's more of a vocation to teach here. Everybody here has gotten into colleges of their choices. Our guidance counselors help. Once it comes to senior year, applying to colleges, they're a huge help. I was in there maybe once a week going through different colleges I applied to, other programs I should look at, other scholarships I should look at. And it's that friendship, that rapport established between our educators and our students that creates the family spirit where young people know they are valued, they are loved, and it gives them then the freedom to really mature as young men. Don Bosco Prep was founded by Salesian priests and brothers in the year 1915. And so for a hundred plus years, we have been spending our days among young people we believe that every young person is called to encounter God and to encounter their neighbor and to grow in love of both. St. John Bosco understood that, that young people need to be active, they want to be challenged. They want deep down to ultimately become constructive members of society. There's a whole other school that comes to life in the afternoon with all of the activities. And there's always so many things that are going on. I joined the newspaper in my junior year, the Ironman newspaper. I play JV tennis now. I'm involved in uh, track and field. I'm in the Italian club and the Italian Honor Society. Outside of class, mostly just football I've been involved in. I play lacrosse here on a varsity level. I'm in the Prospective Physician Club. I'm in the Engineering Club and also the Ambassador Club. I'm involved in the Ironman Speak Out Club. It's a social justice club. I am also a part of the Youth Ministry. Also, I loved being in the Arts Program. When young men come onto our campus in the morning, they're going to feel as though this truly is a second home. It's a playground, it's a church, it's a school. And we will embrace them with all of our hearts and try and guide them through this time in their lives and turn them into strong young men who go on to college and do very well in their lives. I'm just really thankful for what it was able to provide me from the time I was here as a freshman 
to as I stand before you now. It taught me values, it's instilled character that I'm not sure I would have gotten had I gone somewhere else. It's a very diverse, complicated, active, dynamic environment. It's exciting, day in, day out. Your life will be a grand adventure. Exciting things will happen to you. There are going to be times that you struggle, but these are part of the adventure of life. This is what happens to the hero. It comes to embracing the obstacles that we face as part of the excitement of the adventure. St. John Bosco. Pray for us. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us.